What's up guys, it's Ed from TechSource and welcome to Setup Wars episode 67 where you submit your desk setup to get featured on the channel. So if you guys want to participate, make sure to watch the video linked below. But here are your five contestants for this week. We have Andre, Julius, Nathan, Sammy and Zach. Congratulations for making it on the show. Starting off the show, we have Andred and his very clean white and black clone trooper ultra white setup. Also on the desk, we have a Razer Black Widow Chroma keyboard and a Razer Death Adder mouse that's sitting on top of the Vipam's extended mouse pad. I also see that you drilled a hole in the desk to route the wires through. Very clean. Off to the left side, we have the MSI GE60 Apache gaming laptop with a GTX 850M and to the right is the desktop PC that's running on a 4770 and a GTX GTX 970. Cable management has done really well. I do love seeing cable clips and velcros keeping all the wires together. And oh my lord. You actually manage the cables on your earbuds. I just have to apply. That's just... I'm gonna be sleeping so well tonight. Good job keeping your Logitech G930 wireless headset on a hanger, but what I like most about this setup is that you hung product boxes above your bed. Imagine if the S340 box drops straight on your face while you're sleeping. Very dope setup Andre, thanks for entering. Julius Caesar returns with a new revamped setup. It looks like he finally centered the massive TV with the monitors, good work. So it looks like we still have the same 24 inch Samsung monitors and a Corsair Strafe RGB keyboard with custom white keycaps from Vortex. Also on the desk, we have Logitech G430 headset and a pair of ATH M50Xs that are skinned by dbrand. And I also noticed that you drilled a hole in the desk for both the keyboard and mouse wire. A few things I like about the setup are the consistency of the color scheme and symmetry. The fact that you place both of your Xbox One controllers like that makes me very happy. Cable management looks pretty good from what I can see. I wish you could have sent me pics of under your desk, so I can't really give you props on cable management. On the other side of the desk, we have a 15-inch MacBook Pro with a pair of Swan M10 speakers and his PC that's pushing all of those pixels. It's currently running on a 4770K and a GTX 970 Superclocked. As always, your setup is pleasure to my eyeballs. Thank you, Julius, for entering. Nathan Drake is next up with two 27-inch Dell monitors, a Corsair Strafe RGB, and a Logitech MX Master. This is literally the third setup that has a drilled hole in the desk for cable management. It seems like everyone is on top of their game. We also have a pair of Audio Engine A5 Plus speakers, a Samsung Meteor mic, and M50Xs. By the way, amazing picture quality. Seriously, these are awesome to look at. Cable management is flawless. There's not a single wire that's out of place. And finally, the PC that's located on the right side has a 4790K and a GTX 970. I love the cleanliness, symmetry, and personality of this setup. From the beautiful family portrait that's centered up top, to the Star Wars figurines and the wireless setup of the keyboard and mouse. This is a very well put together setup. The only minor thing I would recommend is maybe picking up something to store your headphones, but other than that, this is a perfect setup. Thank you, Nathan, for entering. Sammy is next up with a triple monitor black and red setup. So we have an ASUS 22-inch monitor up top with two different 24-inch BenQ monitors on the bottom. On the desk, we have the Razer Black Widow Chroma keyboard and a Razer Death Adder Chroma mouse on top of the Reflex Lab extended mouse pad. We also have a pair of Logitech Z200 speakers and a Blue Yeti mic that's hooked up to the newer arm. Sammy did decide to keep the PC on the floor since there wasn't any space on the desk, which was a good call, but it's rocking a 4790K and another GTX 970. At least you put something underneath the PC instead of leaving it on the carpet like some people. I see that dbrand is dominating. We have another pair of M50Xs which are claimed by dbrand skins. A very sick black and red combo by the way. Cable management is pretty good. I can see that you routed all the cables behind the backboard and off to the right side and into a single power strip. I would recommend picking up a cable box to keep the power strip in for a much cleaner look and also it's generally not a good idea to keep them on carpet since they can be a fire hazard. But overall this is a very clean black and red setup. Thank you Sammy for entering. Last but not least we have Zach and his interesting dual monitor setup. Why you would have a custom PC and an iMac on the same desk is beyond me but hey it's your setup not mine. So we have a 22 inch AOC monitor in the center with the very famous Budtron PC build right next to that. It does have a different case but the rest of the parts are identical like the G3258 and the GTX 750 Ti. The keyboard and mouse of choice are both from Technit and they are resting on the Vipim's extended mouse pad. On the left we have a 2006 iMac that's just there for some reason and under the desk we have the Scroll HG5X gaming headset. Are you seriously running a pirated copy of Windows 8.1 Pro? How dare you? I'm just kidding, Zach. I pirate movies all the time.
Hello darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. Honestly, there's a much better place for the iMac. I feel like if you move it into this location, your setup would look so much better. Thank you, Zach, for entering. So that is it for this episode of Setup Wars. As always, make sure you drop your comments down below and vote on who you think has the best desk setup. And as always, I'll announce the winners on Sunday on my Twitter and InstaFail account. So make sure you follow me if you want to. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoy Setup Wars and I will see you in the next video.